So now we're into our third and final week of the LIT Health and Wellbeing series. So today we're going to focus on a fun circuit that's aimed at all levels of fitness. In terms of the equipment needed, all you need is a chair, if you have a few dumbbells lying around the house, and one or two kettlebells. It'll be a fun timed circuit over 30 seconds, so enjoy. So this week's session is going to be a fun timed circuit session. Okay, we'll have about nine exercises and we're going to go for 30 seconds and we can do between two and three sets uh, of these exercises, again depending on your level of, um, of exercise in terms of your fitness levels. So our first uh, exercise is going to be walking lunges. Again, if you have a bit of space around the house to do the walking lunges, excellent. Declan is going to give a demonstration of walking lunges without any weight. So getting good deep into the exercise. Knee coming close to the floor, as you can see. So not touching the ground, excellent. And every time we get 90 degrees or so in terms of that, uh, that lunge. Good, 90 degrees there, good. If you want to add in some weight, okay. So again, again, there's no problem if you have two, three, four kg dumbbells at home. Again, we're timing it for 30 seconds. Excellent. So a simple space like that will complete our walking lunges. Excellent. Our next exercise is going to be bicep curls. Okay, so again, just going to hit the arms. Now we're going to give the lower body a break and going to hit the, hit the upper body with the arms. So again, Declan can, if you have a set of dumbbells at home, you can alternate them or work both of them together. Okay, good. It's 30 seconds, alternating them, going double as well. Good. Small bend in the knees. Okay, again, just to protect that lower back. Getting full extension up to the arms, good. Small bend in the elbows, okay, good. Core switched on as always. Good, that's 30 seconds for our bicep curls. Our third exercise is gonna be step ups. Declan's gonna get a box here now. So if you have some sort of a good box at home, out in the garage, bring it in. Again, we don't, want, we don't want anything over the knee in terms of height. Okay, so that's not a bad height for Declan. So Declan's gonna begin with right leg up and right leg down. Good, so same leg up, same leg down. Switches to the left, left leg down, good. What's key here now as well is technique um, and driving up. When, once that left leg comes up, you drive up off it. Good, slow on the way back down. Right leg up, now drive that right leg, excellent. Good, and back down. Good. So up and down. I know Declan's gonna add in a bit of weight again, so if you're not feeling enough of a burn on it, we can add some weight, which will make it a bit harder. Five kgs in either hand. That's for 30 seconds. Excellent. To give the legs a break, we're going to go up to the upper body. We've done the biceps, so now we're going to hit the triceps. Again, put the chair at the back of a, up against the wall. Okay, I'll stand behind Declan. He's going to go into his tricep dips. Okay, so again, a stable chair. And what's important here is, so Declan, you can, you can even put a bit bend in your legs. So yeah, feet, feet there on the ground. So this is not going to be as hard, okay. Um, and Declan's going to work on his triceps here, okay. So Declan, in your own time. So again, we're going for 30 seconds. Technique is very, very important here. Steckling is lower and his glutes to the ground. Good, 90 degrees for the tricep. Good, really working those triceps. Should get a good burn in that. If this is a bit easy, okay, again, for 30 seconds will be difficult. Declan can extend his legs out, okay. Now he's more of his body, more of his weight is on his arms. Okay, this will be more difficult. Excellent. 30 seconds of that will be, will be good. And even if you want to take a break, so Declan take a break for a second. If you get really tired, the clock is still ticking, feeling okay, now get two or three more reps in, that's going, to be, that, that's going to be quite good, okay? So there's no problem with that as well if you need to take a break in between the timer. Good. Tricep dips, focusing on the triceps. 
Our next two exercises is going to be a deadlift using a kettlebell. We have a nice 14 kg kettlebell here, which is a decent weight. And Declan now is going to go in and demonstrate um, what a kettlebell deadlift is. Okay, so very much going into a squat, okay, squat position, uh, slightly over 90 degrees in terms of angle. Okay, so if you can see this here, slightly over 90, he's not down too, too low. And arms are nice and long, and he's going to stand up. Okay, simple as that. Just standing up, back down to the start, sitting back again, and right into that start position again. And stand up again, Declan. Good. Excellent. Arms are nice and long. There's no pull in these arms. There's no pull of the weight. Okay, good. A common fault with this deadlift, because it is an important exercise, they can go back to the start again, is the pull of the arms. So instead of using the legs, people use the arms, okay? That's not what we want. We want to utilize the legs, so they can go and do a proper one now. So utilize the legs to lift this weight. Excellent. The arms are like levers. That's what they're like, they're like levers. There's no pull in them. Good. Excellent, well done. That's our deadlift using a kettlebell. Again, go for 30 seconds. So our next exercise is going to be a floor press. Okay, it's very, very similar to a bench press, but again, we probably don't have a bench press at home, so we can use the floor. And again, if we have a handful of kettlebells, this will allow us to do the exercise. Declan lies back on his, on, his, on his back. Okay, flat down, excellent. You can have a small bend in your, in your uh, feet if you want, just to protect your back, excellent. And from there, Declan's going to go into pu pushing those weights up over his chest, excellent. Good. You're not going to get the same range of motion if you had a bench press because again you can go down deeper uh, lying on a bench but this will still uh, utilize uh, the chest area in terms of strengthening uh, our pec left and right. Good. And now breathe out and the up Declan. Again go on for 30 seconds. Make sure you're not lifting heavy, too heavy weight because again you're putting the weights up over close to your face so start with lighter. Legs bent, feet on the, firmly on the ground, flat on the ground, protecting our lower back. Excellent. Our next two we're going to do is a core exercise. So again, we kind of give the body a small bit of a break uh, and we're going to go into the dead bug. Okay, so we don't need any weight for this. Declan is going to line his back again. Coordination is very, very important for this exercise. Uh, a lot of people, it takes a bit of time to get right. Okay, so Declan's gonna put his, his legs up 90 degrees. Excellent, okay, so they're lovely where they are. And also his hands are straight up, okay. He's gonna work his right arm and his left leg together. Okay, so one goes down behind the head, one uh, extends out, his legs extends out uh, past his body, okay. Good. Pause there, Declan. Every time, that's your, that's your restarting position every time. Hands in the air, legs at 90 degrees. Keep going, Declan, excellent. Arm down by the head, leg extended out. And you're extending your leg by using your abdominal muscles. That's what you're using here, okay? You're not using your leg per se, you're trying to lower your leg using your abdominal muscles. So again, your belly button, suck that in, okay, in terms of those abdominal muscles and extend out the leg. Good. If you find that there's a bit of pr too much pressure on your lower back, again, we can get a towel. Okay, we can get a towel and wrap it around. Okay, again, we can put that in underneath uh, Declan's back as well. Okay, to help with a bit of support. Okay, good. That is our, that is our dead bug exercise for our core. Okay, our next one we're gonna go into is, some, is a bit more cardio. It's gonna be mountain climbers. Okay, so let's just get our heart rate up for 30 seconds. So up into position, Declan. Good. And Declan's gonna drive those knees forward. Okay, so that's a nice, just do a few slow ones, Declan. Good. Good. Now go for, go fast with it there now, good man. There we go. Essentially getting the heart rate up, working the heart rate, uh, higher beats, and, uh, and again, good, for, good upper body and lower body exercise, working both ends. 
Excellent. Our last exercise we're going to do is the seated row. Okay, so again, we have a band at home. Uh, Declan is going to put it around his feet. Similar to the last time, excellent. So lean back a small bit, arms extended, and he's going to push back close to the body, good. So very much working on our upper back here again. And again, we go for 30 seconds with that exercise. Again, technique is important here, quality is important. If you don't have a band, okay, at home, and you have two dumbbells, we can change that exercise quite quickly. So Declan, again, will just, we'll look at the fly. Bent over, bent over fly, again, just to show you we can hit the back area with a different exercise. Hinging from the hip, excellent. Dumbbells out in front, small bend in the arms. Good, and pause up there for a second, Declan, excellent. Good. Again, we're trying to squeeze these shoulder blades. Squeeze, good. Squeeze, excellent. So again, lightweight for this. So you're talking maybe one, two, two, three kg. Excellent. Good, Declan. That's our nine exercises for our circuit. Uh, again, we do that three, two to three times, again, depending on your level of fitness, um, and we do it for 30 seconds. If you want to take breaks in between 30 seconds, do. Just pause, make sure you're getting quality, okay? You're, you're not losing your uh, posture, you're not losing your technique, okay? So that's it from me, Michael Fenley, at the LAT Health and Wellbeing Series. I really hope you enjoyed the last three weeks and got some benefit from those three sessions. Tomorrow we'll have Owen Everard at 5 past 1, teaching Pilates.